The Senate finally approving a five-year farm bill today, ending a nearly three-year-long slog through Congress. Welcome to your Tuesday afternoon news hub. I'm Sarah Murray. That bill will revamp agriculture policy. It'll also fund the nation's food stamp program. It's expected to cost $956 billion over the ne next decade. Most of that will go to nutrition assistance accounts. Joining us with more details, Washington Bureau Chief Jerry Seib. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Sarah. So how does this bill change the way that we're going to subsidize farmers going forward? Well, look, first of all, I think you have to note this is a, in a time when Washington can't get much done. This is actually a, a significant achievement. It passed the bill. It took three years to write the bill. First time since 2008 there's been a comprehensive farm bill. What this bill really does that's most important, I think, in policy terms, is it ends the, process, the, the, the program of just paying direct subsidies to farmers regardless of crop prices or, or production. And instead, it increases federal crop insurance, which means farmers have some skin in the game. They get uh, some uh, protection against unexpected losses or disasters, but they're not automatically guaranteed payments. That is going to save some money. It allows this bill to, to say to the taxpayer, we're going to cut the federal deficit by $16 billion over the next 10 years. Now, as you pointed out, I forgot to pat Congress on the back for taking three years to pass a piece of legislation. What took this long? Well, it, this is not really what either side wanted. Um, Democrats do not like the fact that this bill cuts $8 billion out of food stamps. Uh, Republicans are unhappy that it has that food stamp money in it all. They wanted to separate food stamps out, take on the food stamp program as a, a subject to be debated all by itself, uh, and they couldn't succeed in doing that. And so this is a compromise, and compromises take time. I think the Republicans in the House in particular had to conclude they didn't have the, the power right now to take a far, food stamps entirely out of the farm bill, and Democrats had to conclude they didn't have the power to totally wall off food stamps from any cuts at all. This is the product. It took a long time for people to decide this is the best either side could get out of the situation. And like you said, Republicans have proposed some pretty sharp cuts to the food stamp program. It's the largest at this point than it's ever been. I mean, when you look at that $8 billion cut overall, how is that program faring in this bill? Well, look, I, I, think that, I think the reality is that um, there had been a lot of unhappiness with uh, welfare programs in general that had built up during the recession. Republicans were arguing that essentially they had become a kind of an entitlement um, and, and that the, the cost did in fact go way, way up for food stamps during the, the recession. You know, the, the argument had been how much of that was the natural consequence of an economic crisis that pushed more people into poverty and how much of that was going to be a kind of a permanent cost that the federal government, once it assumed it, was never going to get rid of. That was a lot of the debate. The truth is nobody is entirely sure what the answers to those questions are. But again, this is the best compromise Congress could come up with. And it was passed on a bipartisan basis, so good to see something moving there. Jerry, thanks for joining us. Sure, happy to be with you.